Do y'all really scissor? Is that a real thing? <laughs> yes, scissoring is a real thing. I don't like it. I don't come off of that. No, bitch, it's your body. You can come. I think a lot of people are just trying to do it the traditional way. You gotta figure that thing out. I think that was a 69. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big, period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious and I ain't. You know the vibes. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad, it's, it's your Jay. girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes. There's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. Today's video is a reaction video, you guys, and I'm going back to Amber's closet, and this video is called. Answering your lesbian sex questions, you know, I just love being a lesbian and I love grown up talk and I love, I love you guys. So let's get into this video. I do have me some breakfast, I got me some turkey bacon and I got me some very healthy waffles. I don't, I forgot the brand. It's the brand with like the wolf on it. You might know what I'm talking about, you might not. It's buttermilk. It look a little dry, a little crunchy. Cause I ain't got a syrup on it. But I got my syrup and some really, really hot water. So that thing, you know what I'm saying, can move around. Because it was in the refrigerator. It was a little stuck. And I got me some OJ. Fuck with them hoes, say. Big period. Before we get into this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, you guys. Make sure your bell is turned on for all post notifications. When you scroll it down, make sure you click the links in the description. Give this video a thumbs up, a like. Make sure you comment down below any videos you want me to react to. And share my content. And let's get into the video. What is considered lesbian sex? What's up, beautiful humans? It's your girl, Amber. And today, I'm about to answer all the questions that you gave me about what is lesbian sex. I asked everybody on my Insta story, and they gave me so many questions. And literally, I'm looking at this list like, whew, some of these really blew my mind, y'all. Like, you know Google is a thing, right? And you know there's plenty of lesbians on the internet answering these questions, right? So let me just say that. Before I start this video, I just want to remind y'all about some educational sexual videos that I have, like how to give good head part one, how to give good head part two, and strap etiquette. Amongst other okay. sexual videos, but I just want to put that out there that if I don't answer your question specifically, go look at those resources. Let's get into it. The first question that I feel like I need to answer, what is considered lesbian sex? For me, it's anything where two women are doing Doing something that they can orgasm from period the next period. question that i got a lot that people ask all the time because it's like a lesbian stereotypical question i don't think you have to have an orgasm just for it to be considered sex i'm just saying is do y'all really scissor is that a real thing <laughs> yes scissoring is a real thing and there's so many different variations of it now me personally yes i scissor not the way that you think of like the traditional like people just think of bah, 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 bah. i mean people do that that's good for them but me personally imagine their legs like open and like i'm in between and i kind of raise up to where both of our clits are hitting each other you know what i'm saying and for me that's kind of like foreplay we're getting in the mood to maybe I can't even get in my waffle. Let me just taste my waffle. Shit. It's so crumbly. Mmm. -hmm. That's a good waffle. A little dry. I personally do like to scissor. I don't do it enough because I'm very new to it. Um, yeah, I used to be with some boring ass hoes. I'm gonna just say I used to be with some really boring ass hoes. They would make up all these excuses. I don't like it. I don't come off of that. No, bitch, it's your body. Your body is not set up for it. And I'm... It, <clears throat> let me take that bad Lord Jesus. That wasn't even nice. It's not. It's Okay, it's not. It's not the body. It's not the body. It's, you're, not, you're not even trying. Like, I feel like no matter how your body is, is what I really was trying to say. No matter how your body is, or like what your body type is, you can come. You just have to figure out the right position. Like she said, I think a lot of people are just trying to do it the traditional way. You got to figure that thing out. I think that was a 69 but anywho i mean you can scissor 69 you know you can scissor with them on their back and then you facing the other way kind of like a backwards cow it's possible so i just feel like you guys find you a partner in the bed is gonna be patient and willing to try new things because why limit your abilities and oh that is just so boring i don't like that i don't like nobody that's like no i don't want to do that oh no i don't want to do that i ain't supposed to do that you know people I think my, I think 
my clothes on backwards. I don't know. Let's just get back to the video. Maybe a transitional move, meaning if you're doing something and before you do the next thing, this might be a cool thing. Let's say I'm laying down and this area is my clip, right? The other person, the opposite way, on top. Both the areas are really hitting each other. I feel like that's a really good position to where you guys can both feel something. And then if you want to, you can slide like a thin little vibrator in there. And it also kind of spices up the action. Shit. And you can also finger from that position. Shit. Oh, I'm telling you, right now. Am I <laughs> okay, so the next question was, how do I eat punani properly? If it's my first time, how do I prepare? I'm scared to eat punani. Now listen, refer to those videos that I told you about. Understand that everybody kind of goes through this point. And if you're open and honest and talking to your partner and just letting them know, like, I'm trying to figure you out, so let me know if there's anything that you like or dislike. When I dove in on the first time, I was shy, but I was so happy that it was happening that I just dove into it. And I started just- I wish my first time was like that. Yeah, my first time. Eating up with you while I bam bam. I I felt like it. I felt like I was. I felt like I was. I gag. I was like, oh my god, what is this? Why does it taste like that? Why is it like that? It's so much down here. I didn't even know there was so much down there. It was a lot down there. And it was raining and thundering outside, and I just, I think that was Jesus telling me, if you don't get up. Yeah, y'all, my, my first time, I ain't really like it. I couldn't be a pillow princess, I couldn't do that. Well, I wasn't a pillow princess. Well, is that a pillow princess when I get things done to me, but I don't want to do it to them? I guess that is a pillow princess. You know, I, I'm, I'm too freaky for that. So I was like, shit, I gotta figure this out, you know? I kind of figured it out. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the best thing in my mouth. It was okay. I mean, you know, I got the job done. Thanks also, you know, to a little vibrator. Little vibrator. Not this vibrator, but, you know, her vibrator. Because, you know, without that, I would have had to go all in. And I don't think I could. I don't think I could go all in. So, thanks to the vibrator. We double team that thing. That's my dog. I mean, not my dog. That's her dog. But still, I appreciate her dog for always being there. Because I couldn't go all the way in. That's all I'ma say. But now, things that I imagine that I think that I would like, and then I just started reading her body language and her moans, and was like, oh yeah, I think this is working. Ooh, yes, body language, yes, moans. I do not like a bitch that do not moan. Like, hello, I don't like a bitch that don't moan. Don't moan, don't talk, just lay there. I don't like that. Mm -mm. I might as well be thinking on myself. Let me keep this up. Yo, one of the weirdest questions that I got asked over and over was how long does lesbian sex last? I guess what's crazy to me is that people don't see each other as humans. They just see like, oh, within your sexuality, you do this, so it lasts this long. And then because you're, you're straight, it lasts this long. It literally is, every human is different. I can literally have sex with a human and she comes in four minutes and the next person, she likes a multi-gasm for an hour. What feels good to you and your partner? One thing that I feel like I need to talk about because I got this question a lot and honestly it's kind of ignorant and kind of pissed me off I'm, I'm gonna be real as a lesbian it doesn't make sense that you don't like men but you still use straps or dildos to me i really hate i really hate that i really hate when dudes are like or even like straight women they're like but it's plastic so you obviously like penetration so why don't you like a god penetration y'all it's not the same i do not want a man on top of me i do not Oh my god, I almost lost my appetite. I think I'm about to cry. I am going through the emotions right now. No, like for real. Oh my god, I think I'm about to cry. I do not want to be, I don't ever, ever, ever want to look down, look behind me, or look up and a guy is on top of me. That's some scary shit. I don't want that. Yes, I've been with guys before. No, I'm not a virgin. But y'all, no. Hell no. I'm I'm way I'm way too deep in the rainbow to go back through the storm. I don't wanna do that. This is such an ignorant Very story. ignorant. It's like you don't understand women and women parts. Just because certain women are not comfortable with men doesn't mean that their body parts don't work. And doesn't mean that they don't get pleasure from different ways. Like men and their penis don't drive pleasure, y'all. 
So just because a woman likes penetration doesn't mean she's supposed to be straight. And I just gotta get that out of the way. And Please. since we're on the strap subject, I have to bring up that so many people ask me strap questions. One of the number one things that people ask me is, can you feel pleasure from strapping? Absolutely. There are different holsters that you can have that kind of sits on top of your clit. So someone giving it could feel good from that pressure or there's straps that vibrate that also feel great? Pretty much the answer is yes. They also ask me if straps or dildos or toys are an always or a necessary thing, and no, it's not. It's not always my go-to. I feel like there's so- Yeah, I used to feel like <clears throat> a bitch had to have it because if I didn't have it, what are we doing? It's not called sex. Because the girl that I was with, she didn't use her hands or her feet. <laughs> Nobody uses their feet on me now, I'm just saying. I mean, that's all she did was just mouth and strap, mouth and strap. That was it, y'all. That was, that was it. There was no foreplay. It was none of that. It was just mouth and strap, mouth and strap, vibrator. Not, not, not even using the vibrator on me. She never even asked me, like, do you like vibrators? Do you want me to use this on you? She never even just did it, just to see how my body would react. It was just always... On me, mouth strap, and then me on her, mouth vibrator. That was it. And I just cannot believe. In my next life, I ain't, mm -mm. My next life. Oh, we fucking fucking. We ain't play fucking, half fucking. We ain't fucking around. We fucking go. In my next life. For real. Call me Jay Nasty in my next life. Jay Nasty. J nasty vibes. So many other things that I can do before I get to that point. That's kind of like a build up. That's not something I jump into. And that's something I would love to give y'all as a tip. Have a conversation first. Like don't just introduce it and assume that every woman likes penetration because that's not always true. And don't always assume that only fems like penetration because that's not always true. Someone asked me, well, can a stud be a bottom? Y'all, we are women. Yo, I have one of my most masculine friends that loves to talk about having her femme wife strap her. Everyone is different. So take those stereotypes out of your mind and literally blow them up and throw them away. I personally don't like penetration, but I understand the workings of women and how majority of women do. Now, the next question was asking me about G-spots, right? That's also in my How to Give Good Head Part 2 video where I talk about the different parts of a woman and their different G-spots. So I definitely think that you should check that out. If my girl is a touch-me-not, how do I please her? This is a question I get all the time. I can tell you, I was with one for five years. Just let her please you. That's the only thing I could think of. Let her please you. Let her grind on you. That's the only thing I could think of. Because that was the only thing that was happening. Touch a titty. Rub a little nipple. That's the only thing I could think of. Now, I, I, now if you would touch me not and you don't like your knee knives or your, your teeth. I forgot what I called them. Your TTs, your knee knives. I forgot what I called them. But if you don't like nothing touch. But you need an ankle bracelet. You need an ankle bracelet. You need to be on probation for life and you need an ankle bracelet. And you need a curfew. I'm just saying. But yeah. I'm, and I completely understand because there's some people that are just not comfortable with being touched. It's it maybe something that they've gone through, they're just not comfortable with themselves, or they have some insecurity, or they just want to get comfortable with you for a while before they open up. There's no, I don't know about, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I was with this woman for five, sorry, girl, for five years. And the time that I did touch you, y'all remember when I told you my hand was cramped up? Going, it was like a spider web. And I was a spider. But anywho, I'ma just say, do you not know like a few years after the fact she tried to reach back out to me and try to let me know? Nah, she ain't let me know. I asked. So a few years later, she kinda like made her way through my DM or whatever like that. Or maybe we was face to face. I don't fucking know. But um I was like, you still don't like to be touched, licked on? She was like, nah, I grew up. And she thought that shit was funny. I didn't think that shit was funny at all. I mean, I'm proud of her, but I didn't think that shit was funny. Did it make me want her? Hell no.
Hell fucking no. People just don't dive into, ooh, let me get touched. It's levels to that shit. And then when you, then when you do get touched, it's levels on keeping that shit maintained. So I'm just, bleh. oh my god. No, 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 no. I don't want to think about it. Mm -mm. Hell no. There's other ways that they can be pleased, whether it's just like some action, you know, over the boxers or a vibrator or Not even the, the strapping vibrator. and the feeling of strapping. So talk to your partner or give them time to kind of open up and want to explore that side. How do you deal with fingering causing infection? Anything that you do down there can cause an infection. Cool. Someone can give you oral and something's in their mouth and that can cause an infection. You can use a toy and it can be clean and it still can cause an infection. Do the best you can in making sure that your hands are clean, your fingernails are clean, your fingernails are short. I was thinking that. Clean hands. Please have clean hands. I'm very freaky, but I don't want y'all thinking like I'm just popping that pussy and them legs open wherever the fuck I'm at. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. And for y'all out there that want to be wild and spontaneous just don't be having sex everywhere like especially if the shit not yours if it ain't your car your your bed your couch you got to be careful because a lot of people not clean if you are clean and if you're not clean go have sex in the shower but even probably i don't know can you can you catch something by having sex in the shower i mean if your shower dirty and your hands and you ain't washing or you have it's just so, it's just so much, it's just so much. Go get checked. Or that you're using the proper cleaning solution for any toys that you use, but also that you're storing it properly too to not build up bacteria. Our pH balances are pretty sensitive and can be thrown off. So it's not just fingering y'all. So make sure that you're being as safe as possible. Is there always a top and bottom? There have been some times where I've been in relationships where that was clear, but then I've been in some situationships or relationships where that is unclear. You know, like one night I might be a top and the next night my girl is aggressive and got us in there and she's the aggressor for the night. So she's considered a top, right? But like I said before, throw those stereotypes out the window because every human is different and our sexual experiences are very different. My girl comes quickly and then she's done. She like all the way puts her clothes on, but I want to come too. How can I talk to her about it? What happens if I come across a girl that doesn't give head? Alright, so let me answer both of those because that's not okay. It's just not okay. I'm sitting over here like that's some selfish ass shit. Baby girl is doing you dirty. You need to tease that hoe. Maybe just sit on her face. Please do not force any sex. For her to get her rocks off and then she put her, cl she put her clothes on. Yo, that's some rude shit. That's some savage ass shit. You gotta stop being a pussy to the pussy. Don't be a pussy to the pussy. Eat the pussy. Get the pussy ate. I would have to beat that bitch ass. Hey, or just stay there. Don't move. Stay there. If she put her clothes on and leave, when she come back, be right there. Naked. In the bed. You need to cut shorty off. Because at this point, don't you get fired, but fire her. Okay? to be a selfish lover like you have to talk to your lover and say hey i feel like i'm pleasing you and i'm not being pleased so if you have it in you to bring up those conversations because you also need to get to the point where you realize that your sexual pleasure is important and when you do that it kind of helps you get the confidence to bring up that conversation either you gotta talk to her about it just be like hey boo last night it would have been great if i was pleased too i'm kind of feeling a little sexually frustrated i would love to make sure that when we're done with our sexual experience then I'm also pleased to. Well the other thing is you gotta strategize correctly right so make sure she, you get yours before she uh, That's her. what I was saying I was like tease her maybe she need to be teased. I ain't never been in a situation like that. Obviously when that happens she's done. Now how to deal with a girl that doesn't give head like I said don't be a selfish lover yo if you want head you gotta give it. If you want to be pleased, you got to please your partner, and that's how I feel. Or, or just find somebody that is just with the shits. Like, hey, look, I don't give it, but I take it. They're like, all right, cool, because I don't like it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know nobody like that, but I mean, I, I know there are some people like that, but yeah. Communication, you guys, is free to do it. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody don't like the way that you're communicating... If you care enough, switch up how you communicate. But if you're like, yo, this is how I communicate. I don't know no other way to communicate. And you're not willing to maybe compromise and change the way that you communicate. Then y'all not, y'all don't need to communicate. I mean, that is just, that is so fucking simple. 
too many times I feel like even with sex, you know, sex, it could be anything, sex, money, uh, spending time, it can be anything, you guys. Communication is free to do, so I just feel like how can you expect change if you don't communicate what you want to be changed? Period. But I think it's really having that conversation and trying to understand why that person doesn't prefer that. And if there's another alternative that you like, that they might like, to make you feel pleased. But if you're not being satisfied, you gotta just move on from that person, because that's crazy. How to tell my wife that I want kink your sex. This is your wife. Have that conversation. And I'm acting like this is easy, but it's not. I am a very shy person sometimes, and it's hard for me to bring those subjects up. Because of that, I find a way to give an icebreaker that leads us into that conversation. Like I'll bring up a situation or like a scene from a movie or whatever and I'll get us talking about something and I'll be like, actually, no, I like that. That's something I'd be interested in. Have that conversation, right? Because at the end of the day, your wife or your partner should be like, yo, well, I want to try it then if it's something you're interested in. And one of the other ways that I feel like this subject got brought up easily is when we start talking about the subject of what kind of porn we like to watch. I don't know why, but this brings it out of you. You can actually go to watching it with that person and maybe they'll have questions for you. I remember when I needed to tell someone that like, hey, I actually like having head this way. Like this will make me really get there. I was super shy and it took me a really long time, but then I had to come into myself and be like, yo, this matters to me. And I had to just do it. Squirting, is squirting possible? Absolutely. <laughs> about to ask me is squirting pee let me know in the comment section what you think squirting is you think squirt is pee you know what i'm saying or do you not think it's pee because some people don't and some people do but i want to know what are you <laughs> i thought that was about to ask that i was just waiting for it to say pee and it just say possible okay maybe the next question be pee Listen, especially when they swear because you took them to that next level. Is lesbian bed death a real thing? I haven't heard this in a very long time. I so never heard this in my life. Look this up again, but for those that don't know, for lesbians that are in a couple that stop having sex, there's oh, stats damn. that say that lesbian couples have the least amount of sex versus all kinds of other couples, and that over time we stop having sex more and more versus all the other couples. But that's not all women. For me, I feel like I'm guilty to this. I feel like I've been through a lesbian bed there, but then I, you know how Jesus risen up from the dead? Then I thought I've arised. Me and Shorty, of course, was fucking around before our relationship, and then we got relationship and we was fucking around. But then y'all, like, the sex was just the same. It was the same. It was mouth and strap, mouth and strap, mouth and strap. Or me to her, mouth and vibrated, mouth and vibrated. You know? It was the same, and it just got to the point where, like, I just didn't care to want it like it was no foreplay it was just kind of like even the way she went about asking for it it was blah as fuck it was so boring like that doesn't make me wet that doesn't make me horny that doesn't make me want you that doesn't make me want to get up and you know what i'm saying doesn't make me want to be sexy i didn't feel sexy hell i don't think she felt sexy so that even played a part of it like you know your own personal uh insecurities or how you feel about yourself can definitely affect you know how you go about or if you even go about having sex with your partner so you know make sure you guys um are complimenting your partner uh lifting your partner up make and make sure your partner is secure within themselves mentally sometimes it's not always about what someone can do for you but what you can do for yourself you know what i'm saying so help your partner uplift themselves to the point where they can wake up you know what I'm saying? And feel sexy on their own. And do that shit by themselves. So that y'all can get beside y'all selves. <laughs> Me, I feel like over time that I get more and more comfortable with a person, I open up more and I become more sexual and explore more. And so I guess this is my way of keeping the relationship alive and fun over the years. Try to be adventurous. Try to bring in something that spices up your sex life. I think being interested and being intrigued by your partner will help your relationship last for a long time. Why do some lesbians rush and not know how to please? How do I help my girlfriend get an orgasm? Like I said, there's some people that think that they know what they're doing, but they're honestly not really that experienced, but they want you to feel like they're that experienced. 
And so they might rush through the process or something, but really just slow them down. Remember, our body is our temple. So if you're not feeling good about what's happening, speak up and say something. So if they're rushing, just be like, nah, boo, I don't like that. That's not good. Because some youngins or unexperienced people will look at lesbian porn and think that's how to do it. But lesbian porn is not made for lesbians. It's for straight men and women. All this shit is not made for <laughs> folks. Just talk to that person and get them to know that. <laughs> oh my god what is she and then her bracelets is what killed me oh my god amber is funny that's not how they please you and hopefully they learn <laughs> now with your girlfriend that hasn't gotten an orgasm yet i really think that it's just about taking time i find that a lot of people are really scared of people going down on them or don't have orgasms because they're stuck in their head. They're not able to kind of let go. And it's almost like a control thing because they're kind of scared of what could happen. Get them to be comfortable and let go. I had this girl tell me, I just be thinking about so much. So she has to watch porn while I was down there. Like she had to watch porn. Like not just off gate, but eventually. Like I think at first she did it, you know what I'm saying, for the feeling like, oh this feel good. But then when she was ready to come but couldn't come, she's like, okay, I gotta watch porn and I gotta use a vibrator. And it was just kinda like I kinda felt like, damn, what am I here for? But um yeah, that was her thing. Um something that she said that I think I wanted to say. Maybe it wasn't meant for me to say. I don't know. And so within that, it might be some oral, it might be some penetration, or a combo of both. You can never go wrong with a combo of both. Okay. Okay, you guys, that's all the questions that I can answer this time. But if there's other questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll do another video in the future. And also for my YouTube people, don't forget that I post regularly on my Instagram and my Facebook page. Those links are down below. So make sure you guys follow me and check those videos out. All right, y'all. I love you so much. Stay amazing. Stay proud. And stay woke. Peace. I fucking love Amber. You already know I'm subscribed. Gotta give this video a thumbs up. I've definitely got to comment something in the comment section, you guys. But I love Amber Closet videos, you guys. They're so mature. They're very, um, not only entertaining, but it's a lot of knowledge there's a lot of stuff that you can learn from her you know what i'm saying so again i like the funny shit i like the real shit i don't really care for too much drama but you guys be wanting me to dip and dab in that because you not keep it real i keep it true big period so i like that too but this is some good content i like videos like this hope that you did enjoy this video hope that if you didn't even know she put out this kind of content in videos hope that maybe you learn something i hope that for real for real people that are having trouble having sex know that it's okay people that are having trouble you know just finding their thing with their partner like they want to be with this person because everybody got their good thing and their bad thing like everything goes good here but then when we get here it's bad and it really sucks when it's you know something that's supposed to be pleasuring so um i just say honestly if this is someone that you a been with for a long time or b want to be with for a long time then you just take the risk and take a chance and just communicate be open be honest you guys i mean because what one won't do the other one will do you not hear what i said what one won't do the other one fucking will you don't want to listen to me she will you don't want to be patient she will you don't want to try new shit baby girl will and do and does and all that good shit hope that you guys enjoyed this video once again if you did make sure you are subscribed to my channel you guys make sure your bell is turned on for all post notifications make sure you give this video a thumbs up you guys while you're scrolling down to leave me a comment of your feedback because i definitely still want to know if you think squirting is pee and if you don't think squirting is pee i want to know if you watch this video all the way to the end let me get a black card in the comment section i've been starting this on my reaction channel and i've been getting a lot of feedback and a lot of the color hearts that I'd say for people to do it. It just lets me know if you guys are really engaged to my videos from beginning to the end. And I definitely do appreciate you guys. Um, I love you guys so very much. Stay clean. Be blessed. Have a great day. And I'm signing out to the next video. Share my content. Anything else I forget? Peace. Nah, I ain't conceived.
need it I- I'm a different breed it Catch you slipping, best belief I don't need no reason I'ma cut the ties, ho Turn your wife to my hoe Just focus on you, baby girl <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes You know the fuck going on And I'm out this bitch